Right, so simple uh, expression, let's do A plus B uh, times C minus D. Okay, right, so in reverse Polish, just it, off the top of the Z, what, what is it? A, B plus, plus A, B C. A, B, C. It's got to be that, at least that. Then we can do the multiply. No, then we can do the plus. Then we whack the D on and do the minus. Yeah? <coughs> That's what that would be. Is everyone happy with that? Okay. Generally, when you've got the same level of precedence, you should just do your left to right evaluation. So they should rough. They're not going to be any bigger than that, are they? In the gun. Right, so we need some values for A, B, C, and D to make this work. So let's have. Um, I'll keep the numbers moderate. I haven't put a dividing notice because that becomes horrible. Okay, so we just use those. Right, so again, we're going to process each character or each symbol at a time. This time, what goes on the stack are the operands because we're going to stack the operands up. Remember, reverse Polish is set up so that when we meet an operation, we have seen the data that we're going to work with. That's the whole point of it. The way that we write in fix, that's not necessarily true. You have to look at further along. And that's what we're avoiding, because computers can't do that. OK, so we're going to build a stack. So every time we get an operation, uh, an operand, we put it on the stack. So I'm going I'm to copy the numbers over each time I do it. So, 2 goes on the stack. B, which I'd set as 4. 4 goes on the stack. C, which is 3. 3 goes on the stack. Then we get an operation. So write your operation down. Now, it only matters for minus and divide if you get these two on the wrong sides. Alright, but try and do it properly. You take the top item off the stack. Write it on the right hand side. Take the next item off the stack. Okay. I'm going to redraw my stack. I shouldn't have drawn that there, but I'm going to draw my stack there now, so I'm going to make a funny pattern. I've only got two left on. I've removed the top two items, because that operation needs two operands. Right, four times three is twelve. Yeah, so as soon as I've done the calculation, the answer goes on the stack. And we carry on. Then we say plus. So we've got an operation to do. <coughs> so we write down the operation, remove the number of operands we need, which is two. First one goes on the right hand side, next one on the left hand side. So two plus twelve, right out of my stack again. I'm just about going to get away with this. Fourteen is my answer, goes back onto the stack. Carry on processing the input. We've got D, which I said was five. Then we get to the final character, which is minus. So write down the operation, take the top, put it on the right, take the second operand, put it on the left. So we do the calculation, then 14 minus 5 is 9, and we put that back on the stack, and the value sits on the stack. Don't remove the value and say the answer is 9. The only time you'd remove the value would be when. 